Hey folks, I'm in the process of editing the video that you're about to watch regarding the grasshopper. I did not realize at the time how much slow motion footage I used. I must have just simply hit the wrong button. So I pre-apologize for that. Now it takes me the better part of a day to get a car ready, to get it outside, to do the running video shoots, to bring it back, to, to do footage of it dirty, to clean it, to follow up, to edit it, to upload it. It's the better part of a day for me to do a video. So I'm not gonna redo the whole thing just because of some slow motion, but there are some cool shots. And all I ask is that you bear with me through my little mistake. Have a great day. Right guys, good morning. Welcome to the Hobby Room channel once again. Uh, got the new logo all put together thanks to Michael Bacon. And of course, subscribe, click the bells, and or smash the bell, click whatever, do all that youtube -y type stuff, helps me out. So, what's today all about? Well, you guys saw my early video where I was gonna put together the hoppers, which was gonna be the Hornet, the Grasshopper, the Futterbuggy Memorial, and the Grasshopper 2. Well, I have chosen the Grasshopper to be the first one uh, in that series that I complete. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've completed the Grasshopper. There it is, all done and done. The electronics are in it. I use the um, TBLE 02, I believe it is, that came with the kit. Um, where I did deviate from the kit was the motor. I used the um, um, Sport Tuned, and I believe that it is a, um, I was surprised by the windings. I think it's like a 20, 21 turn, 23 turn. Uh, I was a little surprised, because usually I use the uh, RZ motor, the BZ motor. Um, the Sport Tuned and the Torque Tuned really aren't my thing. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm kind of getting the cart before the horse. I want to show you the model a little bit close up, but I'm not going to show you the inside just yet. As you guys know, you have to unscrew this body to do that. So I'll bring the camera in a little bit tighter. I'll show you the model. Um, we've got our, um, transmitter here that came from radio controlled revolution. I've done a slight modification. I've taken some ply and a camera mount and attach that to the battery door. So what this is going to do, we hope is give me the opportunity to place my phone in there and drive the car around to provide you lot with better running videos. So you know what? I'm even going to hold off on showing you the car in its entirety the, the, at this exact moment. Um, the stickers came out beautiful. I ended up clear coating um, over the stickers once it was done because I just felt as though there's so many joins that have to be just right. Um, eh, I wasn't comfortable with it. Uh, let me rephrase that. I wasn't comfortable with the the fact that dirt wasn't going to lay in there and turn into a permanent item. And I didn't want that. So like I said, I stickered the whole thing up, um, shot it with some clear, and uh, this is your result. Our driver's in, our electronics are in. So let's, uh, let's go take this for a bash while we still have good weather. It looks like the rain might be moving in. So I'm gonna try my new camera mount. Um, I have a selfie stick now. So that's, uh, that's pretty exciting stuff. I'm going to give that a shot. And uh, let's see if we can't provide you guys with a good running video. I will then clean this up, come back, and show you how I appointed the interior and got this thing going. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go get it dirty. Guys, they should have called this the gravel hopper. It's way happier out here than it is on the grass.
I'll tell you, there's nothing better than taking a brand new RC, something that you just painted up, and thrashing it. All right, folks, I know it's not coming over in the video how dusty this is after playing in the dirt road. Let's take a look at our driver. Yep, he's still doing pretty good. So now we're just gonna knock this thing around through the mud locally and uh, have a little bit more play time before it's uh, time to clean up and make a video out of it. It really does move with that 23 turn motor. If I could get the thing to hook up for more than a second. And we made it. And we didn't make that. All right guys. I'm filthy, the car's a right mess. It looks a bit like this. Yeah, dirt everywhere. And I'm no different, I'm covered. In fact, I think I have it on my face. Yep, sure do. All right, so we're gonna go clean this car up, get back into the uh, white room and have a look over it and give you some final thoughts. Right, guys, that was, that was a proper bit of fun. This car is, Filthy beyond filthy, a complete ton of fun to run. One thing I did find is that um, steering sensitivity was a big issue. Definitely mess with your steering rate as you're having your drive, whether it be on grass or on dirt or on gravel. We did it all in this video, um, but I definitely noticed that in certain, cir that, uh, certain circumstances, uh, like when I was doing the passes down the street, it wanted the sensitivity set on low. Um, when I was in the loose gravel, it depended on what I wanted. If I wanted to do a long straight shot down the road, it definitely wanted low sensitivity. If I wanted it in tight doing donuts, you know, hopefully a lot of that will come through in the camera. Um, you'll see that in the video here. Uh, but one thing I do want to say is certain cars, yes, are shelf queens and they don't get touched. Uh, but others get beaten to death, and this will be one of them. And in fact, I'm going to part by bringing this a little closer to the camera, showing you how filthy it is. Then I'll go downstairs, I'll clean it up nice, nice, bring the camera in, and show you the final finish done, already been run grasshopper. So here, let's take a look. All right, guys. There's your proper mess. Absolutely filthy. Time to go clean up. <clears throat> okay, so we've got all the cleanup done and it, typical of Tamiya Plastics, everything cleaned up amazingly well. Um, I'll show you guys the chassis real quick. You know me, I spiral all my wires. I've got 
tips on that in my other videos. But look at that thing. I mean, I had this thing properly filthy dirty, and uh, that is just not the case anymore. Um, so that just got, uh, actually this just got compressed air and then wiped off with a, uh, a damp paintbrush. So that's all that got. Um, reason the paintbrush was damp was after I washed up the body in the sink, I used the paintbrush to give it a little scrubby scrub. And actually here's an opportunity to show you the body. My driver, I do a little bit of weathering on his suit and buckles and whatnot. Nothing crazy. I don't want to say, uh, how do I, how do I package this? I don't want to say just a frog. Oh, by the way, I'm going to start the process of putting this all back together now. I don't want to say just a frog. And the reason is for one person, it may be just a frog, for, uh, frog, grasshopper. I don't want to say just a grasshopper because for one person, it may be, um, just a grasshopper and for the next man it might be it might actually represent uh, a significant uh, investment you know I was I was wiping these bearings down uh, on a wet towel and thinking of a video that I saw where the bearings the gentleman had um, done his bearings now the sound is gonna be all different because I finally moved the mic where he uh, had gotten his car wet and his bearings had rusted uh, of course you guys know I deal with Boca bearing so I'm sitting here wiping my bearings um, on a wet towel very comfortably because I know my bearings are um, all stainless, of course. And it sort of dawned on me that, you know, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be arrogant. You know, I can go, I go to Boca Bearing and I, and I sell, you know, Boca Bearings to you guys as a package if need be. Um, I don't mark anything up. I'm not sponsored. I'm not endorsed. What you pay me for them is the same that you would pay them uh, for the same set. But, you know, I'm sitting here thinking that I'm putting on, I'm putting on all stainless bearings, if not ceramic hybrid. Um, the price jumps up huge for those. And I mean, tenfold huge. Um, but yeah, you know, for, for a lot of guys out there, you know, they don't want to run the nylon bushes and I don't blame them because those are, those are proper junk. Um, but you know, their, their budget maxes out at the, you know, $10 a set ball bearing kits that we see on, um, eBay. And that's, that's fine. If, that, if that's what's in your budget, if that's what your budget allows for, um, sure. It's, it's, it's a lot better than, um, no bearings at all. Uh, but I think, you know, and I know I'm just, I'm just rambling out. I think what's important to remember uh, for us, just as people, just to be decent humans, is to remember that um, maybe, you know, not everybody can afford $25 for a set of bearings or, 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 or more. You know, you got to remember that this entire kit represents, I don't know, depending on how you purchase it, who you purchase it from, represents, you know, in and around the $125 mark, $100 mark, depending on where you purchase it. So you're literally talking about adding, got to make sure the tires are going the right direction. Otherwise it'll bother me forever. You're, you're literally talking about adding 25% the cost of the entire car, um, just in, um, uh, ball bearings. That's a lot. That's, that's a whole lot. Why is this not going on? Ah, there we are. It wanted to go home. So either way, so to say, you know, oh, you know, you're, you should be buying stainless bearings. Why are you buying that, you know, $10 junk? Well, it's not, first of all, it's not junk. And second of all, it's better than what the kit came with. And that $10, you know, still represents 10% of the kit price. So, you know, it, it's important that we not knock the next guy for uh, what he has or doesn't have. You know, some people are fortunate enough to have amazing, you know, over the top racing vehicles that cost money that I can't even fathom. You know, I sort of sit somewhere in the middle. I consider myself very fortunate to have a collection. Um, granted, all my stuff is vintage. None of my stuff is, you know, top dollar, top line, but you know, it does also get expensive. 
Um, so there we go. So we've got our roller back together and we're all clean and it's ready to go pretty much back on the shelf. We'll go ahead and set the body on. This is always an interesting one since it screws on. Um, but that's it, you know, I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna kinda wrap this thing up. Um, I know it's been a long one. I hope you've had plenty of either energy drink or tea or coffee or soda or whatever your vice may be. Um, but, and I promise you the next three, which is of course gonna be the Grasshopper 2, the Fighter Buggy RX Memorial, uh, and also the Hornet. I'm not gonna be waffling on like I am with this one. The point of doing that with this one was to kind of let you know um, my position on this and why I think it's important uh, for me, you know, having a channel uh, to build these buggies, to, to show, my God, this thing, this thing is so much fun. I just got so filthy. I had so much fun with it and it didn't cost a bajillion dollars you know, to arrive at that level of play, at that level of fun. You know, again, we're talking about a transmitter that costs 60 bucks with receiver. Uh, we've got a kit that let's call it 120 bucks. Uh, I chose to upgrade the motor. You don't need to do that, uh, but really throw a battery in it and that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I apologize for all of the waffling. That's still on, so I'll remind you to subscribe, like, smash the notification bell, keep me relevant, and uh, keep your eyes peeled for my next video. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what do I build next? The Hornet, the Grasshopper 2, or the Fighter Buggy Memorial? The Grasshopper 2 might take a little bit of time as I'm going to do alloy wheels on it. So really it's between the Fighter Buggy RX Memorial or the Hornet. So comment down below, let me know what you think, and uh, I will get to it. Guys, have a great day.